Hey everybody, I want to talk a little bit today about hydration. All right, most of us in America are underhydrated, okay? And what hydration does is it does a few things, right? It helps us heal if we have an injury, it helps us sleep, and it helps our body recover, and it keeps us from getting dehydrated. So it does a bunch of different things, all right? So everyone needs a different requirement for their fluid intake, preferably water-based, but if you're severely under drinking, we will take any fluid at this point, right? So ideally, if you have health conditions, talk to your doctor about that, okay? If you're generally healthy, then we'll take any fluid, okay? But things that are high in sugar will keep your blood pressure up. Coffee will raise your blood pressure, any of that. But if you're relatively healthy with blood pressure and things like that, count that cup of coffee if you're really short your liquids, okay? Our recommendation, all right, I have a water bottle here, right? This is 20 ounces, so five of these a day, about 100 ounces. Now, I'm a bigger guy, right? No one really needs more than 100 ounces, okay? So, it's about half of your body weight in ounces up to that 200 pounds, right? Anything over 200 pounds, you can stick with 100 ounces, right? You weigh 90 pounds, you want about 45 ounces of water. That would be two of those bottles plus a little bit, all right? So, the best way that I have found to start getting hydrated in the morning, right? We all have, like, I don't know if you're like me, I need my coffee in the morning. That's how I get going. So, what I do is, I first get up, I have a glass of water. And that, like, as my coffee's brewing, I drink that glass of water. That just gets me off to a great start. I feel a little bit better. I, I've gone, you know, hopefully eight hours, more like six sometimes, without any water. So, what we want to do is start that day off with a cup of water and then maybe have a water. If this is new to you, try to leave an hour or two before bedtime with no water, otherwise you'll be waking up all night p.m. All right. As a warning, as you start to get more hydrated, like as you increase your water intake, you are going to have to pee more often, okay? And that's just the way it is. Your body has to adapt. As you get further along into this, it will regulate. Your body will regulate itself. So you get back onto a normal schedule of urination, all right? So if you have any questions about hydration, please reach out to us, bodyfixpt.com, in the comments below, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Take care, and we'll see you later.